So you may have heard of the house called The One, the $500 million mega mansion that's 105,000 square feet, just in case you aren't aware how big 105,000 square feet is. That is nine tenths a city block in Manhattan. That is 2.4 acres of just house. So let's talk about Niall Niami, the man behind the mansion. So a little bit of background about Niall. He was born in 1968 in Bel Air and grew up in the San Fernando Valley. He started his career in Hollywood as a special effects and makeup artist and eventually was able to form his own production company. He was actually able to produce a few films that you may have heard of. Some of the things he produced include Terminal Force, Point Blank, the 1997 version, not the 2019 version, The Patriot, The Watcher, and tart and the list goes on for a couple other movies so now the point of the video that applies to this channel and the niche that I am in is Niall started flipping homes in 2012 and if you follow this channel and if you follow the real estate investing space or just the investing space in general you understand that flipping homes can be very lucrative time-consuming but most definitely lucrative and rewarding so when I say he was flipping homes I mean he was flipping smaller single-family homes, just more normal homes but in 2012 he flipped a 18 million dollar house to the Winklevoss twins since then he got into the more luxury house space in 2014 he sold a house to P Diddy for 39 million dollars two years later he sold another house in Beverly Hills for 38 million dollars and in 2017 he sold a home to Floyd Mayweather for 26 million dollars and this is where it starts to get good for Niall in 2017, he completed construction at 1175 Hillcrest Road, Beverly Hills. You might know it by its other name, Opus. Now, it took a little bit of time for the house to sell, but in 2019, Opus, that was originally listed at $100 million, ended up selling for $52 million. And at $52 million, Opus has seven bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, and 20,000 square feet. And just to put into perspective how truly monstrous these houses are, a mansion is considered anything over 8,000 square feet. But before I jump into the cliff noted version of this house, I want to let you know that I'm going to go ahead and link a video that producer Michael put out where he did a custom tour of the home with Niall himself and then they walked through the entire property. I'm going to go ahead and link both part one and part two and there's a part three that they don't really go into the house about, um, but, but it's more just an interview with Niall. So I'm going to link all three of those uh, up in that little box up above and I encourage you to go uh, take a look at it. It's a pretty interesting watch. So a little bit about the house. It has six elevators seven pools, a 10,000 square foot nightclub, an anatomically correct draft skeleton, a candy room, a bowling alley, and eight bedroom staff quarters. And of course, with a mansion of this size, you can't forget a movie theater. And at the point that we're currently at, especially in part three of the video that producer Michael put out, this is where it starts to go downhill a little bit because you really start to see the man behind the house. And at this point, he goes into how he feels the house has the ability to change the world and his plans to help the youth and to give back. And honestly, the first eight to 10 minutes of the video that producer Michael put out, uh, he's kind of rambling a little bit. He definitely doesn't have all his thoughts clearly thought out prior to this interview. And it's just kind of word vomiting everything that's coming to his mind. And keep in mind, I'm just gonna give you the short and condensed version. He basically has a chapter 11 on the house that he is currently living in. Uh, if you don't know what chapter 11 is, it's basically just he's in bankruptcy, as well as he got a notice of default against the one, meaning that that is the first step to the lender actually foreclosing on him. And I'm sure that that would be really heartbreaking to be in that circumstance where you have this $500 million mansion that you're basically competed with, and then the lender's like, hey, I'm gonna foreclose on you. So that's really, really tough. And being in bankruptcy in his current residence where he physically lives probably means he doesn't have a lot of extra cash. And then later on in the interview, you actually see him uh, talk about the LLC that he's starting, about how he wants to start a TV show where people can invest in the LLC, which basically means that they buy a portion of the house, but he lives in the house. And then the TV show is basically a live basically 24 seven or you know uh, 12 hours a day whatever it is of him living in the house so that people can tune in and feel like they are also living in this house just from the way that he was talking about it, it didn't seem like he was quite thought out on his plan and it didn't sound like it was his plan from the beginning just kind of where he's thinking about to try to basically uh, gather money from people to pay down some of the debt that he has so a little bit about Niall's current financial state a couple of years ago he borrowed 82 million dollars since then with interest payments and back payments that has ballooned up to 110 million dollars. Hanky, who actually granted him the loan, is the one that actually sent the letter to him, letting him notice that he's in default. So just to sum up, Niles in financial distress. He wants to turn the lawn of the one into a pay-per-view area. 
and for people to invest in his LLC where he basically gets to live in this house for free and then people will pay to watch his TV show of him living in the house. So I guess from now only time will tell if he actually ends up uh, being able to get it listed and sold as opposed to getting foreclosed on. And I've been checking the listings and it is May 10th today and I have not seen the one listed for sale anywhere even though supposedly it already has been listed by Keller Williams, I am just not able to find it. But anyways, I hope Niall the best. Hopefully this video is helpful. Hopefully you found this information informative as well as maybe sparked your interest in real estate investing because it is a cool thing and can lead to really big things. If you made it this far, it'd be really cool if you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That would let people know that you enjoyed this video and that you wanna push it to more people. And since this is a little bit more of a fun video on the channel, it'd be cool if you shared it with your friends and family so they can kind of take a look at it and see what monstrosity of houses are actually out there. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's down below. If it's red, you should be turning it gray. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please browse the channel, subscribe. We'll catch you next video.